Well, this is my last day in my tazcamper.com camper. And I have to say, I've been incredibly pleased with this little vehicle. Uh, there were several reasons why I chose the Taz Camper vehicle when I was doing my research for my project. Uh, I would be travelling on some, not the main roads, I'd be going on some shingle roads and I needed a vehicle that was legally, I was legally allowed to take it on and TazCamper.com was the only rental company I found that was uh, had it in writing that you were allowed to take these vehicles on a shingle road without breaching your insurance. Uh, so basically um, that that alone was a good enough reason for me to hire but on top of that this is just a little perler of a vehicle uh, it's the uh, the camper version or the camper van version on uh, on Peter's product list uh, it's probably about four meters long maybe four and a half meters long it's a Toyota Hiace it's a manual gear shift so you must need to be able to buy a uh, drive a manual gear shift uh, but on top of that it has all the functions you need it's got a little kitchen here it's got a cooker it's got a fridge now the fridge is a three-way fridge it operates on battery when you're driving and it operates on 240 when you're plugged in at a, at a holiday park plus also it operates on gas so if you want to do any freedom camping you know you're going to keep your goodies nice and cool it's got these wonderful little zip out uh, air vents or windows at the top on the pop top um, it's got storage all over the place. It's got storage under the, the squabs. When it's time to make up the bed at night, it's really easy to, to pull it across and make up the bed. I chose to purchase a sleeping bag uh, while I was traveling. It was just easier for me because I needed to, to make the bed up each day. Some people do leave it up permanently and I can see that would be of benefit, but I needed all my camera gear. I needed to get access to it. so. I, I had to make it up each day so I chose to get a sleeping bag which was great which was fine it was very comfortable to sleep in um, very easy to level um, you could sleep either way um, I found because I'm quite tall I you boys used to sleep on a bit of an angle you know if you sleep on your side there's plenty of room for two people in here uh, I'm almost six foot tall and I sleep on my back so I normally take up about six foot five worth of space so I just found I just slept on an angle and I was perfectly comfortable. The the other benefit is it's obviously got the pop top so when it's down during the day you drive like a normal van and it handles extremely well. It's in high winds, a lot of these high top ones can be quite wobbly in the wind. With this, because this is a pop top, it pops down and it, as I said it just drives like a normal vehicle. It's got a little awning, a little roll out awning. I used it a couple of times just when the I had to park with, you know, of an afternoon sun. So in summary, I would not hesitate in recommending this camper to anyone or the company or Peter. Peter was excellent with his overview of the camper. He was very uh, responsive with all the emails in the research process prior to booking. Um, once I'd made my booking, if I had any questions about what I might need to bring, very prompt answer. When I was traveling, I had a couple of questions about things. Uh, didn't, didn't hesitate to answer, it answered fairly promptly, very promptly. So, you know, as a business owner, hats off to Peter, and I give him five stars out of five for that. So if you're looking for a camper for one to two adults, um, you're looking for some creature comforts, plus, plus also the ability to go off grid if you want to, then uh, I would say look no further than uh, this little option here. It's certainly a step up from the, the hippie campers you see zapping around Tasmania at the moment. This is definitely a, a little bit of a class of its own. It sort of wedges itself in between the big, the big boys, the big five meter jobbies with the toilet on board and, uh, and the little hippie campers. So it's, it's just got a little niche here.